Hey guys, this is Jake from Matt Kite back with another At A Glance. Today I have the Monera Chubby Travel Bag. And honestly, I'm pretty dang stoked with this bag. So it's gonna be a 150 centimeters, which is pretty routine for most travel bags. When you are traveling, you're generally not bringing your light wind board, right? You're going to a windy place. And if you're not, you need to book a better vacation next time. Uh, what makes this bag really nice though, is it has 47 centimeters of width. Uh, I would say the standard tends to be more in that 43 to 45 centimeter range. So having that little bit of extra width, not only allows you to get away with some of the larger boards on the market, um, something like the Crazy Fly Raptor, they do have a thicker board model, um, but it also allows you to fit a little bit more in your bag and it allows you to wrap the rails of your existing boards better. We know that airlines are notorious for being pretty rough on gear, uh, so it's really up to you to do your due diligence. Don't just rely on the foam on this board bag, though there is a good amount of foam. Um, but I would take your shorts, take your t-shirts, and wrap the rails of that board. You just wanna exercise an abundance of caution, because if you get to your destination, you pull out your board, it's cracked, it's taken on water, that's a session killer. Um, so really package that board well, uh, and this bag gives you everything you need to be successful with that. Um, so it has two cinch straps right here. These have little metal buckles that allow you to hook onto the strap on the other side, which makes hooking on and tightening this a breeze, as well as pulling it off. It's gonna have a waterproof isolated pouch up here at the top, which is really, really nice. Uh, this is a good place to store a wetsuit, or if you're going for just your daily session, you can toss your valuables in there your key, your cell phone, your beach tower, beach towel, the sunscreen. Uh, I just had a session this past summer. It was great. I put all my stuff on a rock right by the water. Conditions picked up. I turned around. There went my towel. There went my keys and my phone floating away. Terrible. If I had this bag, I would have piled my valuables in there. I would have zipped that up. Even if it did get washed over, it's waterproof, so it's all safe. It is going to be a double zippered bag, which is really, really nice. You can go ahead, open this whole thing up, and you'll notice on the inside, it again has this protected waterproof coating right here. Two straps on the bottom. You can go ahead and pop your board. You can probably fit two boards. Uh, the danger with that always is the more gear you enclose in your bag, the heavier it's gonna be. So you really gotta be wary with dimensional restrictions and weight restrictions when it comes to the airline. So you go ahead, put your board here. Remember to always pull off your fins. If you need more room, pull off your straps and pads. Go ahead, cinch those down, you're good to go. Where are you gonna put your, your fins? Well, right up here at the top of the bag, there's a little Velcro mesh pocket. So I would pack your fins in here. Again, wrap them in something like your underwear, your boxers, just to keep them safe. Um, you can bring some excess hardware, which is always great if you're going somewhere. You don't want to be missing a screw for your fin or your foot pad, which would be even worse. Pop an extra set up there, pop a screwdriver up there, maybe a little ding repair, a little bladder uh, and kite repair kit. Um, just the mis miscellaneous stuff that's easy to forget. Pack it up there, forget about it. Leave this in your car when you go for your daily session. You need a nozzle, you've got a spare nozzle up here, you're good to go. That's enough about that pouch. You got your boards, you got your pouch, kite, bam, bam, bam. We generally recommend you take them out of the bag, um, really pack them down. Compression bags are really helpful. We have those for sale as well. Or you can get a vacuum seal bag. I've used those in the past, a great success. Uh, you do wanna be a little bit mindful. You don't wanna like turbo seal them, especially with uh, different valves and plastic components. If you suck all the air out, sometimes those really press against the canopy. It looks kind of suspect. It can lead to a little bit excess abrasion. Um, so just, just be cognizant when you're doing that. You can see you have another uh, little mesh pocket right here on the side where you can store some more items. Um, this, this bag is really designed. It can fit probably three boards, I would say, maybe two boards, three kites, um, but you're really gonna be pushing the weight limit at that point. Nothing else to really see on the inside. It's just a good basic bag. If we flip it over or just fold it in half, you'll see that it has this rigid skid play right here. Uh, these wheels are really nice. They're gummy, they're oversized. Um, this plate, when that bag gets dragged across, is gonna help um, reduce abrasion. It's just gonna make that slide. It's gonna add to the longevity of it. 
and a little bit of base protection as this does wrap around right here. You can see you have some carry handles on the bottom as well so you can grab it from multiple angles. Overall, I think this is a really sharp bag. I like the features. Um, doesn't have too much, but for what it does have, it's really, really helpful. Um, the size is really novel, 150 by 47. It makes it very versatile. And last but not least, you can't forget the little stay salty at the bottom of the bag. That's always an important reminder. Get out there, get your session, live your best life. Guys, this has been Jake with At A Glance. Thanks for checking out Matt Kite.